Hey Libra, this is Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your mid-month reading for February 2021. Someone rise the Venus sign. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other, okay? Guys, okay, you got the full card and the hangman coming in reverse here. So you're ready definitely for some change here, Libra. Um, that's what I feel, especially with the hangman being in reverse. It's like you're done. Um thinking about a situation and processing it going over it okay i feel like you have uh all the information that you need in regards to a situation where you feel like you can finally uh release yourself and free yourself um from something okay you're ready for a new beginning a new phase in your life and for things to improve definitely okay you got the king of pentacles here in reverse the magician card coming in okay and the hermit card coming in reverse here so oh <laughs> getting your power back here libra beautiful let me take a step back here you guys i just kind of jumped into your reading so if this message resonates with you as we go through the video make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you know when i upload for you all of my returning subscribers thank you for thank you guys for coming back i do appreciate each and every one of you um for supporting me and this channel okay um let's go into your reading here so the king of pentacles the magician card is coming in and it feels really good uh some of you guys have found the light <laughs> uh within yourself that's what i mean here the light within yourself you know your worth you know your value now no one can tell you that you're not giving what you clearly know that you're giving here um and i feel like you guys may be giving a lot of your time and attention and affection to others right now okay um yes that's what i feel okay the magician card some of you guys are really working towards uh what you desire what you truly want in, in your life right now at this moment here you have done a lot and i know this because i've been reading for you guys you've done a lot of self reflection you've gone inward a lot here and the hermit card in reverse is letting me know that you're ready for this new beginning you're ready to move forward here so let's take a look at your person and their energy here in the past they have the five of cups here in reverse okay the hierophant card in reverse and three of cups so your person feels kind of like they're free as well they want to be a free bird especially with the hierophant card and the three of cups they want to be um just enjoying themselves and not be um kind of tied down to traditions and the rules and <laughs> You got your little rebel on your hands here, uh, Libra, okay? For some of you, this is someone that you were in a relationship or a connection with. Um, your person feels like they're just enjoying themselves here. That's what I'm saying. Overall energy for the past here. Eight of Pentacles, you guys are both working um, on bettering yourself okay getting to know yourself working on your skills trying to develop yourself and get to the money get to the bag some of you guys with pentacles energy that's coming in here okay so i feel like you're done worrying about someone or some situation the focus is on you and your person clearly looks like they're focusing on themselves as well okay um Someone is not interested also in a connection or a relationship. Let's take a quick look at that. We're actually going to put these cards. I've been doing uh, these cards for your energy. I'm going to do it for your person's energy. Here. I've been doing it for other signs, okay? That's what I mean. Looking at their energy and what the person has to say. I'm just going to grab some cards here. Be quiet and connect with your energy. Libra. What message does Libra's person have for them? For the past? What was this person thinking or wanting to say to Libra? Differences. I don't think you... Okay. I didn't think you needed an explanation since we didn't establish anything serious. I'm sorry if I hurt you. That is their message to you. 
Let's get one more message out here. They are saying fear. My past experiences, I'm getting, my hand feels a little shaky. It feels weird, y'all. Okay. Fear. My past experiences made it difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again. I feared you were too good to be true. Oh, <laughs> Libra, you probably were too good to be true, too stable. You like, I want to, I want to settle down. You know, I want something serious. And this person's like, I don't know if I'm ready because a hierophant car is not like, ready for marriage or ready to settle down okay so this that was our past energy let's take a look at you currently here you're too good for somebody <laughs> loving them too good okay especially with the magician cards you really put your um oh your touch on them okay Venus energy. You're done giving to this connection. You're looking for someone new. Do you have someone new already in mind? <laughs> here, Libra, possibly. You may be liking someone new. So, Page of Cups here in reverse. And the Two of Cups, I feel like definitely you're ready for new love. Ready to get out there. Some of you guys are um, looking <laughs> at a new partner. Um, they may have water in their chart somewhere with the Two of Cups energy. That's coming in. So, ooh, okay. Your person may be keeping their options open. Two of swords coming in here and the five of swords coming in reverse. Um, yeah, I just feel like they're not letting themselves get drawn into a connection or a relationship or drama. They're more focused on enjoying life and enjoying their friends and enjoying their um serenity <laughs> their freedom excuse me their freedom here okay because they're showing up two of swords as a stalemate they don't want to settle down okay they're, they're not interested or they haven't come to terms in their mind of who they want to settle down with so they're keeping their options open that's what your person looks like but you you want love and i see new love possibly coming in with the two of club uh cups two of clubs <laughs> Two of Cups here, Libra. This person, you may know them already. This may be a close friend or someone that um, is a past, someone that you knew from your past. Okay, that's what Spirit is saying here. Some of you guys know this person, you're reconnecting with them. Um, and I feel like this love that you find between each other may be very unexpected. Um, you didn't feel like it would grow the way it would, as fast as it would, okay? Um, but you're really getting to know somebody, Libra. That's what I'm feeling here. And you're ready to release yourself with the Ten of Wands in reverse here um, from <sighs> stress, okay? You're releasing what no longer is needed here, okay? And the end has arrived. That's what I feel with the Ten of Wands here in reverse. Like the end has arrived and you're ready to release yourself and find what's truly meant for you. Okay, let's take a look at how this person feels about you. And I feel uh, like this may be someone that you're leaving or just currently left or past person. Okay? So wherever you are in your journey right now, to so someone that you're kind of still dealing with or thinking about. Or just release them. Okay, they're saying we both know I am not the one for you. They are very clear about this. They're also saying differences. Um, and I hide behind material things. That's what your person, well, this person is saying. Okay, we ain't talking about no new person. <laughs> they're coming. I feel like this is someone that you've already dealt with, though. What else does this person have to say to Libra? Uh, it feels like they definitely have closed the chapter. Sun card in reverse. Hangman in reverse. They're not changing. King of Wands. They're not wanting to work towards the connection. It's all in reverse. Sun. 
uh, the hangman and the king of wands. So they're not choosing the relationship or the connection. They're freeing themselves and you are doing so as well. How are you feeling about this? Okay, this part may or may not resonate with you. Okay, so take it as you will. You guys, okay. what are you feeling about this person? I don't react when people mention you. Ouch. <laughs> You're on a new journey, okay? New path. And that's the Ten of Wands is definitely making me feel this. You've um, done all you can and you're freeing yourself, okay? And it's saying we will be together again here. Hi, okay? Let's see what this is. Some of you guys feel like this person will come back around. Again, once they have had enough of being free, okay, and they want someone stable, you have the, some of you guys feel like this person uh, will seek you out again um, because they'll miss all of your good energy. <laughs> yes, they will. Because they're already saying here, I feared you were just too good to be true. So that'll come up for them again. They have the death. You have the death card here. You're bringing a total end and moving on. Okay, you've totally changed your mind about whoever this is. You don't like their energy. You don't like their um, <laughs> their vibration and how they're treating you here. So you're you're choosing an end. Okay, releasing yourself in order to make way. Okay, make room for something new. So you guys have absolutely changed your mind with the six of swords about someone. Okay. Let's take a look here. We're going to use the Lenormand dice to get your future energy. Two dice for each of you. What messages here for Libra? What should they be aware of in the future? Okay. That you have new love coming in. I told you that. <laughs> you have the owl or the pear and the broom there. So you're really cleaning up things um, in your life and releasing yourself from the past or this past or this person here, okay? Um, and making way for new love. You're gonna have new interests, a new partner that I see coming in here. What's going to be going on with your with this person, whoever this is for you in the future? Ooh, okay. Hmm. This person may just be focused more on work and their own stability. I feel uh, like they really don't know how they feel about love and i feel like that is just not in the forefront for them two of swords and the clouds that is coming in here okay um i feel like they're just really focused on self with the anchor coming in and what's best for them and that is what they're focused on here in the future energy Close your reading of Libra with a message of guidance from Spirit. Spirit and Angel Guys are the most high. What message do you have here for my Libra? Because they got somebody new coming in. <laughs> oh, Libra. <laughs> it's all about passion with you guys, okay? But I see new romance, definitely. Spirit is saying grace, and you have the number two coming in. Talk about partnerships. <laughs> For you guys anyway in balance here but it does feel good look okay you stop giving your attention over to someone or just trying to always um give your cup and fill their cup up okay yours was never getting filled um that i feel like there is a definite um switch up it's a change coming in regards to um your relationship status <laughs> Okay, some of you guys are moving quickly out of one relationship and into another one. Um, 
I'm just seeing that switch over, okay? How is switching over? But you're really getting to know this person because this is only the Two of Cups. Love love develops through the Two of Cups, okay? Long conversation, giving each other pet names, <laughs> possibly looking at each other's photos, uh, long stares across the table if you're spending time with them, okay? Or just really getting... Um, showing a lot of affection and attention towards each other on a daily basis, okay? This is current energy, so somebody's doing this. Grace, <laughs> you got grace coming in. Your card says, Libra, we will... Um, when we sit in relationship with grace, we see every situation through the eyes of love, fostering our desires to meet life with understanding, compassion, and kindness. That's what you're doing, okay? This card acts that you view your situation with grace, and you are releasing uh, someone here with grace. You're not fighting anymore, and that's what I see here. Um, you've learned through your experiences, so your card is number one. Um, that's coming in here. Allow yourself to receive. Uh, one of the greatest blocks in our ability to manifest our greatest desires is an inability to allow ourselves to receive. So allow yourself to receive this new love, this new path, this new journey. We saw the full card coming when I was shuffling, okay? So <laughs> definitely, um, Spirit is saying it's time for you to step into new experiences and someone that can really love you because it feels like this person is saying like they're not ready okay whoever this is so this card acts that you take some time to identify any inner beliefs perceptions and attitudes that stop you from re receiving and one by one remove these resistances here let's get one more card here because i can and i love you guys <laughs> give me one more card here for Libra. What else would you like me to know here? Now to the end of February. Collaborate. You have the number seven here. Uh, Chariot card and the Major Arcana. Spirit wants you to continue to move forward. Uh, and stay focused on your goals, on your desires, what you want to manifest in your life here. Okay, And allow yourself to receive these things. Be optimistic and feel like you presently have them. Do some um, <laughs> some um, visualization type of exercises here. So your card says sometimes we are called to develop our self. Uh, hearing a cat or something. I'm sorry, I don't have a cat. Um, sometimes we are called to develop our self sufficiency okay and this can be a valuable road to travel in the discovery of our unique and individual gifts but this is not the same as trying to do everything yourself all of the time so don't try to do everything by yourself uh be around people here and i feel like you're ready to do that anyway um some of you guys are going to be collaborating with someone in work in regards to work here libra as well i want to bring that into your reading um, because the pentacles is showing up as an overall energy in the past. Possibly some of you guys had an idea about what type of career or work you would like to do. And it involves you to collaborate with others. Possibly some of you guys are moving as well or thinking about doing this in the next few months here. Moving to a new state, a new area to get things done and uh, join a company or organization here. Okay, Your card is saying... Um, this is not a time to go it, go at it alone here, okay? Collaborate, speak with people, okay? It is time to unite and work with others to get things done, okay? That is your reading, Libra. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, loves, because I will be back with you. Take care. Bye.